Hey guys, uh, Kevin here to bring you a new video today, um, or today, uh, I'm going to discuss, um, a film that I watched yesterday, um, uh, it's kind of late now, and I'm sorry I'm posting this video late, I'm pretty tired, um, but I do have to post this video, so it is what it is, um, and also sorry that I, um, the last video I posted was, like, dark and bad quality, um, I got out of work at 9 and had work ne the next day at 8, and just didn't have a whole lot of time, so I thought it would be best to record it in the car. Um, and I apologize for the terrible quality on that. Um, but I guess it was still a review, but yeah. But anyways, um, today I'm going to talk about a um, film I watched yesterday. Uh, it's called A Thing, or The Thing from Another World. Um, this is actually um, the original film adaptation of um, uh, the novel Who Goes There, um, the one that came before John Carpenter's The Thing, and the one that came before that atrocity that is 2012's The Thing. Um, what I have to say is um, I like this film, um, despite it being pretty old. Um, it was older than I thought it was, which is weird. Um, for some reason I thought it was more like late 60s or like mid 60s movie, but it was actually from 1951. Um, so the overall like feel of the movie was, um, just different than I expected. Um, but it was good. I'll, I'll get into that though. But I mean like, um, it's definitely different from John Carpenter's The Thing because in this one it's just like, um, they're just fighting one alien I guess and it's not like they have the power to imitate people or infect people or pretend to be people or any anything like that like John Carpenter's thing took it to like new levels but and that's one of my favorite movies of all time so I really wanted to see this one as well um and it was interesting to get the perspective on this one um just because um it was fun to see what it would be like you know seeing a film that was 30 years older than its remake. Um, a lot of it is a lot slower, and, I mean, I feel like maybe this is the case with a lot of movies, but um, it just took me a while to... It took me a little bit to get into it, because, um, yeah, for a little bit they were just, like, um, uh, just, like, traveling and going to this place and to, like, hide out, and then they eventually found this... Um, uh, like flying saucer and they exploded it and found a body in it and like okay cool um, and then some idiot decided to melt it melt the body with a heated blanket why I don't know but yeah um, and then he comes out and starts attacking people and they have to just fend off against him um, using various means um, like like the thing, um, like John Carpenter's thing, this, interestingly enough, this thing doesn't like fire, um, as seen in one instance, so that's an interesting comparison, but, yeah, um, it was fun, it was fun, though, um, with, once it, once it, like, picked up with, like, the, the monster coming out, um, it was fun with seeing how they would, like, um, defend against it and, like, take precautions to, like, stop it or whatever, and then, um, they would just do what they have to do to, to fight it off, um, all the way to the end, and, um, like, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, um, you have this, like, scientist guy who almost kind of, like, um, disagrees with, with, with the group and wants to, um, doesn't want to kill it and just has, like, a complete opposing opinion, so that was kind of cool, and they had a female... Uh, actress in this, um, which is interesting because there was no female actress in John Carpenter's thing. I think it was good to have a female actress in this just to, um, just for the, the tone of the movie. I think it, I think it helped it. And like, um, the, but the other characters were good too. You had like the captain and like, you know, his other people. Um, I forget their names. Sorry, uh, I think it was Captain Henry was his name. But yeah, um, it was it was pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's different because like 
the monster is nothing special. It's literally just like a tall guy with maybe like a distorted face, but like you can't even really see their face that close up. So like maybe they were wearing like some makeup or had like a little bit of prosthetics. I don't know. But other than that, they're just like a tall person just walking at you. So like when you compare that to the craziness of the thing, it is it is like quite quite different um i would say but yeah um it was fun to watch um had a pretty pretty cool ending um with them like defeating it and um making like it ends with just them like saying like a new story um but yeah i i quite enjoyed it um i, I do like films from the 50s um i love the movie The Incredible Shrinking Man, and yeah, um, I just I was just I was just kind of like taken aback because I never looked at um, when this movie is from. Um, for some reason, I just thought it was from like 1968 or 1969, but it was from 1951. So I'm like, okay, but yeah, um, that's really all I get to say about that. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm pretty tired, so I'm just gonna get to bed soon but um i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video i watched joker today so get ready for a review for that tomorrow all right well i'll see you guys in the next video